thrill of a bridge is the thrill of a city. This city is an island, an island of dreams. And this city is your gateway, your gateway to a realm of excitement and adventure. From all over the world, adventure is drawn from the skies to this international terminus. Your magic carpet may carry you to a place almost out of this world. And from there, you can step from your jet clipper straight into a building of such modern design and luxury of setting that you thrill at the wonders of this jet age. those who watch and wait, and to those who arrive, this is always an exciting moment. Your adventure will begin here, and for days and nights it will lead you into a world of visual splendor, of robust activity, of excitements only New York can offer. city, over ribbons of roads winding you closer, speeding you forward along highways, drawing you to the heart of the city. which is New York, is here, and now yours. A city of a million sights and superlatives. Your first reaction is to look upwards and gaze almost in disbelief at the massive buildings towering above. No matter how many times you've seen New York in films or photographs, your first sight of this city is overwhelming. Familiar names and places now become a reality. Though not everyone can stay at the Waldorf. Canyon, shut in by walls of glass and steel, and gleaming above, the shining face of the Chrysler building. Day and night you walk these streets, you shop these windows, you marvel at the luxury of living.
the city's very center is its tranquil heart, its sentimental heart, the lovely heart of Manhattan, Central Park. You remember here that nature, that grass and lakes are so much a part of our lives and of every great city, be it London or Paris or New York. or above, the view is staggering. <laughs> the green oasis of Central Park basks in the shelter of these towering giants. On the west flows the Hudson. When the mists rise from the river, the forest of skyscrapers acquire a mystic beauty of their own. Often obscured, often peeping through a sea of cloud, they reach their fingers to the sky. In the canyon below, the delicate spires of St. Patrick's Cathedral are lost among the skyscrapers, rising up like mountain peaks. The lance-tipped Chrysler building holds itself with pride above the rest, but dwarfed in turn by the mighty Empire State Building, the world's most towering symbol, monarch of them all. In the mist beyond lies downtown New York and the waterfront of the tip of Manhattan. On a river journey around the island, the skyline appears almost unreal like a painted backcloth in a theater. The Statue of Liberty dedicated to that most precious gift, freedom. Manhattan, teeming with big business, is the heart of America's financial world, Wall Street, a heart which is not too busy to honor in these memorial tablets the war dead, names which glow in the warmth of the light of the Statue of Liberty, a heart that is not too busy to pause at Trinity Church, squeezed in by the towering buildings, and dwell there for a moment of peace and contemplation on ground consecrated by royal charter from William III, King of England. The buildings of Wall Street echo the name of the earthen wall built by Dutch settlers against wild animals 
and marauding Indians. History was made in the narrow confines of these streets. On these steps, where his statue now stands, the first president, George Washington, took oath. Facing his statue is the New York Stock Exchange, a barometer of the financial world. What city is more impressive by daylight? And what city is more exciting by night when millions of people go home as the lights go up on the Great White Way? subway and ferry. You can take the ribbon highway bordering the river on the east side. Or you can motor along the tree-lined roads in the west by Riverside Drive. among the trees is Grant's tomb, final resting place of another famous American general. graceful link of George Washington Bridge carries you across the river. Here lie the greener hills of the residential suburbs, a peaceful respite from the toiling days in the city. United Nations, a keystone of your New York visit. Many come to enjoy the tranquility of the terrace and gardens. Some to enjoy the company of each other. Within the gardens and building are gifts from other nations. This came from Soviet Russia. This, the Queen of Peace, from Yugoslavia. And now, perhaps, to the most unusual and original building in America, the Guggenheim Museum. There are no rooms inside. The galleries wind round a spiral ramp. You take the elevator to the top and saunter down at your leisure to view paintings that seem to float in space. You 
too may find this one a little puzzling, but you'll agree that the exhibits and the building offer a refreshing challenge. Abstract art finds a ready expression in this most cosmopolitan of cities, where more than half its people are immigrants or children of immigrants. This Italian game of bocce ball is being played a long way from its home. Not all of New York is made up of fine buildings and lush avenues. There are many streets like this, but the wind of change blows strongly. there are older neighborhoods, right next to them stand new developments, built almost as fast as the old ones had torn down, letting in light and air, and giving a new look to an old scene. And it's surprising, too, how quickly the new tenants adjust themselves to this high living. The different excitement of Greenwich Village finds you watching the old-timers playing chess in Washington Square, or those who have enough time to spend the day talking or reading. Here you can meet the painters and poets, or wander among the colorful and winding streets to discover the enchantment of old homes and muse cottages. As everywhere in New York, the old is surrounded by the new, and surrounded too by the comforts of parks, big stores, inexpensive shops, and places for children to play. place of child delight is the children's zoo in Central Park, where adults can only be admitted if accompanied by a child. fabulous than this city within a city, the massive Rockefeller Center. spent perhaps in catching again just one more glimpse of all the exciting things you've enjoyed. The slender beauty of St. Patrick's Cathedral, the variety and freshness of its architecture. Yes, New York is a city of superlatives.
it's hard to leave this city. A city in which you've had a time so full of the delights and thrills of a great adventure. But with the wonders of today's age and tomorrow's so vividly in your mind, New York will welcome you back. Thank you.